one of the most important of those discoveries was made by a team of NASA scientists based inside the Arctic Circle. Bill Crable and his team have spent the last decade monitoring the effect of global warming upon the vast Greenland ice sheet. This particular area, you can think of it as a, as a huge ice cube that nicely buffers global climate. An ice cube that's 1,000 miles long, 400 miles wide, and two miles thick in the center. For years, Accurate measurements of the effects of global warming across the ice sheet were impossible. It was just too huge and inhospitable to measure from the ground. So they took to the air. Greenland is one of the biggest blocks of frozen water in the world. And if it started to melt, the effects would be felt worldwide. It comprises enough water to raise sea level by about six or seven meters, if it all were to melt. Um, how much we get over here? We get all this done. They map the ice with a combination of global positioning satellites well, we and lasers. The satellite measures the height of the plane, and the laser measures the distance from the plane to the ice. But there are 5,000 individual beams per second that are being projected into that scan mirror and then down in a pattern on the surface, measures the surface with 10 centimeter accuracy. At five year intervals, they have flown the same route across the island. Each time, they have measured the height of the ice. By comparing the two measurements, they can see if the ice is growing or shrinking. There's definitely changes taking place here. All over the margin of the Greenland ice sheet, it is thinning. It's equivalent to 50 cubic kilometers of ice and snow that are disappearing off the Greenland ice sheet each year. This 50 gigatons of water melting from Greenland was the first evidence that global warming might be affecting the ice sheet here. But one change really shocked them. They started to measure one of the island's biggest glaciers. Less than 10 years ago, five years ago, it was moving at about six, seven kilometers per year. And that was more or less in balance with the snowfall. Now in the five years since then, the speed has almost doubled. It's now advancing at 12 kilometers a year. The increase seems to be linked to global warming. It's the fastest moving glacier on the planet. It dumps enough fresh water into the sea each day to supply London for several months. Global warming seems to be reshaping the whole landscape of one of the biggest ice sheets on Earth.